I said that we often identify with my father's name. And that's another thing. <laughs> We can, say, we can talk about, I can get up here and talk about these things. Yes, sir. I hear a lot of people say Wallace, and when I hear them saying it, uh, I'm wondering, like, they're saying it like they're real close to me, you know, like, you know, not too many people real close to me, because I don't like to, hang, I don't like to, I don't like to party. Even when I was a young a teenager, I tolerated just to have some uh, social life. I didn't want to be a hermit, so I hung out with the youngsters, and I did what they did. I don't hang out on the phone. I don't, I don't party. I'm not a big social uh, unless, unless you get uh, on the topic of things that stimulate me intellectually, you know, right. and the, the things that I, that I think are law proof, uh, then you got my attention, you know, we can, I can talk all day, so. But, uh, yeah, I was telling um, the sister that my name, or Wadith Adin Muhammad, means uh, inheritor, Wadith, roughly translated, people speak Arabic, Wadith means inheritor, uh, it's one of the attributes of Allah, uh, the, Allah is the supreme inheritor. Uh, Deen uh, simply means faith, which is translated roughly as religion. Uh -huh. And Muhammad uh, translated is, means uh, praiseworthy, but Muhammad is the name of the messenger of uh, uh, Allah, right. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Muhammad, more so then his English translation is the prophet of Islam. That's what Muhammad means. So my name is Wadith Adin Muhammad, which means inheritor of the religion. It can be read like a sentence, inheritor of the religion of Muhammad. And that's all of us. And that's our responsibility. And that's our obligation. And that's our theme of our conviction this year. That the uh, El Islam, is, yeah, El -Islam obligates us to build model communities. So if we're obligated, then uh, that's our responsibility, you know, that we're all inherit. Once you inherit something, then, you know, that's yours. So <laughs> if we inherit this great religion that we say we, we love so much, then it's our obligation, our responsibility to do something with it. Or Allah take it from us. He may have taken, I, I, a lot of us, I really question, has, has he already taken it from us? You know, so that's another thing, you know, another stuff that we can get on later. But uh, inshallah, imams, like I did imam, they just, uh, uh, you know, we learn to love people once we get to know them. Imam Muhammad said, you, know, you don't know a person until you work with them. You know, and these imams, until you hear them do what they do, uh, you don't know them until you hear them give a kutbah. And we see them and we know them. And we see the good imams and we see the ones that, that need a little help, you know. So alhamdulillah. So uh, we're blessed that. If you man even wants to come and close, I, I, I don't pay attention to the time, and I gotta forgive you. Thank you. Glory to be Muhammad the second, take as much time as he wants. That's what we get out of the building. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'd like to mention a, 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 a couple of like, miracles that, uh, that happened. Uh, I mentioned that uh, uh, we went to the Folk of Ari meeting and so forth. And after the program was all over, people didn't realize I was sitting to my right. I was sitting up here, Wallace was sitting here. And to my right was uh, one of the um, uh, main persons of the folklore that worked out in New York. He now works in, 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 in uh, California. So he introduced Worthy Dean Muhammad II to the uh, new leader of the folklore. Then after we left on out, uh, we went into uh, like a, maybe a gym or whatever like that, where you have uh, uh, the foods, you know, like the little small foods, you know, finger food. Yeah. And then uh, we went out into a court, courtyard. Now, those of you who made highs, if you look at, uh, at, at the, uh, the way the uh, uh, Muharram is, you have the, the physical structure, and then you have the open structure where you, where you have the, the Kaaba, right? right? Well, we was in this Jewish synagogue, so we was inside the physical structure, but they had a courtyard. Well, where it was all bright, the sun was shining and everything like that. And uh, worth the Muhammad II, uh, we, we went out there, and uh, as we were out there, all the major leaders that were there came, was introduced to the son of Imam Yabdi Muhammad. And many people don't realize that uh, uh, some of the main leaders of the religion of peace was there. And the... Uh, so you had this person that was on my right, he was in the top leadership of the folklore. You had many of the leaders of the religion of peace who knew Wallace. They met him at, at, uh, at the White House. So they knew what was going on. 
And so, you know, uh, it, it was just amazing how Allah set it up that in that courtyard, in that open space, one by one, they, all those major people that spoke on the program, one by one, they came up and they met with Wallace. And they were going through their experiences with uh, uh, how uh, their relationship with Imam W.D. Muhammad. For example, one a person said, I was there when Imam W.D. Muhammad met with the Dalai Lama, mm -hmm. and, and so forth. So, all praise due to Allah. Another one was uh, the last first Sunday. Uh, we had uh, Imam Bin Bilal here, and uh, he, he, you know, him and uh, uh, Imam Alfred went by the house of uh, Wallace Muhammad II. And Bin Bilal, you know, he has his AM 360, so he had the uh, radio program, and uh, he wanted to interview Wallace. So they interviewed him on the uh, uh, web uh, radio, and uh, uh, W.D. Muhammad II spoke for about two hours. And all my experience. Every time somebody comes to Wallace's house and they sit down and talk to him, they get in a conversation and you relax and talk to him, all of a sudden they just start shaking their heads. I mean, <laughs> Wallace made a, a comment, W.D. Muhammad said he made a comment. He said, Imam W.D. Muhammad, you know, uh, he said, now if you look at the Quran, the Quran is, uh, is uh, uh, the words of the Quran. Uh, when they recite it, it penetrates right to your soul. He said, Imam Nabi Muhammad had the ability, just with English, and sometimes he didn't use any Arabic, just his lecture was able to penetrate to your soul. And he had people just shaking their heads, and every one of them, if they had any doubt that this was the son of Imam Nabi Muhammad, they know what we are. He knows his father's language. We know his father's language, and that's what it's all about, is get the language of Imam W.D. Muhammad out there. So with that, um, I, Wallace did the, the best presentation on the convention, uh, so we invite everybody to the convention. One major point uh, to add to that is that you can pay bit by bit. You can rent your hotel room, you can, uh, if you got four or five people coming, uh, pay for uh, register for yourself, then they don't register for somebody else and so forth. Then your dinners, if you're going to have breakfast, you're going to have the dinners or whatever like that, then you can pay for that bit by bit, and your account will, will show that and reflect that. So then we're in what, uh, May now? We got three months? I mean, you can plan like this is a vacation for you, you can pay bit by bit that you can uh, participate in every aspect of it. And we got Galib Galab, he's getting ready to have a performance on culture night, that's one thing that gets you there. And then your hygiene, and you're going to come too. Then your pioneers, you're going to come. Then your sister Clara behind the school. Then we have a fashion show. How many of you can come to the... Well, never mind. <laughs> we got the fashion show, and we, it's going to be for, professional. This is going to be top flight. Our goal is 6,000 in the seats. And we can do that in the Midwest. Yes, sir. You know that's something? 6,000 in the seats? Those of you in Chicago who didn't make it before said, so, well, uh, uh, finances, I couldn't take the bus, I couldn't this, this and that. So I came back and some people, I, I, I mentioned about the uh, convention, they said, oh, the convention, I wish I could have made it. Well, it's here now. So what's your excuse? <laughs> Come on, this is our convention. That's right. That's right. The people outside, around the country, they know this is our nat national convention. They are participating. What's holding the people in the Midwest and Chicago back? Mm -hmm. What's holding you back? Nothing. Should be no reason at all. This is our convention. Uh, with that, uh, Imam Daoud, and then we'll close out. I believe that's all the announcements we got, Imam Daoud. Uh, is there a representative from the Muslim General here? Uh, Sister Wangara, are you here?